it's not morning. You know I'm lying about that. It is six o'clock in the evening, but it's kind of my morning. Well, it takes like lunchtime for me. I've been up a little while, but anyway, hi, hello, welcome to the new vlog. This is the 63rd vlog. Wow. Wow. Anyway, um, a lot has gone on and I haven't like vlogged a whole lot because I've just been like a busy bunny. Just a lot. So I'll catch you up on all that later, but uh, good morning for one thing. And we're starting out. I kind of had me a little bit of a glow up day yesterday. I went and got nails done. As you can see, new Manny here. We got a snake nail and then some matte black ones. Oh yeah, so I'm excited about that. Tinted my brows, I touched up my roots. I did some self tanner, so I'm a little, little bronze. Let me see if we can get some sun. Um, I, like I even put it on my face everywhere. So I got a little bit of a nice color going. I think it would be better if I did it with a thinner lotion. It's tanning drops from Tanologist and you can adjust how much you want. So I might go a little bit more and in a thinner lotion and we'll have a little better results, but it's, they look nice. It looks great. I have one spot I messed up on my leg, but that was just human error because I was uh, so focused on getting the back of my legs good. I missed the entire patch on my calf or on my um, shin. <laughs> so there's that, but I do like the way this tanner looks otherwise, and I'm quite pleased with it. I also tried out some of that. My hair is not brushed yet. This is my natural texture after a bath, just air dried. Um, the eight second wonder from L'Oreal. It's a hair treatment you do like three times a week. You leave it like eight seconds and you rinse it out. It kind of gets hot and weird. And you know, it tells you like how many milli milliliters I think this is measure to use or your hair type or whatever. So I just did the, uh, the smallest amount because I don't have very thick hair and I think it did a good job. Like considering this is my hair, air dried it looks pretty dang good not frizzy so I'm liking that so far and I'll keep you posted about it but it's a pretty nice product I okay so I do want to put some more self tanner here because my face is naturally darker than the rest of me and I was trying to even it out but I think I just ended up making my face darker <laughs> again uh, anyway I'm gonna be filming a video later on tonight I'm gonna do a, a summer makeup thing it's a look I wore the other day when we went to Huckleberry to see a band and I want to recreate that look and show you what I did because I liked it. And um, yeah, I'll throw in some clips of that night here because I just kind of was like sporadically vlogging, but not really like vlogging, just taking clips of things. But yeah, I'm just waiting for a video to export now. But the reason I turned the camera on is because I wanted to tell you what happened. What this little dog of mine did. So I just made a smoothie. I set it on my desk. It's a good ways onto my desk, you know, it's, it's on there. And I got up to go use the bathroom, fiddle around, did a couple of things. I come back to sit down, go take a drink of my smoothie, and the entire glass is empty. Empty. I didn't mix it very good, obviously, on that side, but empty. Nothing was disturbed. She just knocked the glass over. Just snuck up here and had her a, an entire smoothie. So I'm expecting some doggy diarrhea later. Thanks, pumpkin. Little mischievous turd. She doesn't do stuff like that very often, but every now and then she gets like a wild hair and she will get after something. Usually she's scared to get on my desk or something because noise and she's very, very scaredy of sounds. But this little turd, if she wants something, she's suddenly the bravest dog in the world and yeah she got up here and got my entire smoothie entire one with the last of my oat milk so can you make me another one so instead i'm having a unsweetened nitro cold brew i found these at walmart so happy about that these are pretty dang yummy they don't taste like from a coffee shop obviously but they they're pretty good, and this is the unsweetened, no sugar, just plain ass nitro cold brew one, and I like it just plain. There's a sweet cream one that is delicious, and then there's a mocha and a, a caramel flavor, so I like all of them. So I'm gonna need to go get me some more of those. I might go do that in a little while. 
because I'm never going to end up going to get dinner in a bit. So yeah, and I've also taken some steaks out to do in the air fryer for later on today. And um, yeah, I've been, I cooked um, some delicious carne asada yesterday or the day before yesterday. So we insert, insert some clips of me making that. It was so good. We did tacos de carne asada. And oh, she had to go get a toy to squeak. Thank you, pumpkin. But yeah, that was so yummy. And they were probably my best ones I've done because I actually found actual carne asada meat, actually like skirt steak, which I have trouble finding sometimes. I don't know why. But anyway, that was a super good dinner. But I'm gonna do the uh, steak tonight, some zucchini. I think that's gonna be the dinner. And I've washed up a ton of berries and made some fruit dip. So that's what I've been snacking on lately and yeah i will see you guys in a little bit because pumpkin's wanting to play with her lammy and squeak so i'm gonna let her play and um probably gonna grab some dinner and then i'll get ready to film my video and then yeah all that <laughs> i'm curious if i have a foundation that's gonna match me with my my tan oh my god i'm a bronze goddess i'll never be but I can wish. I can try. I like how white my teeth look though. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm getting ready to film right now and I'm currently getting my skincare on in my orange came I definitely look tanner that's for sure my goodness look at me who, who is she I don't know how it looks on camera yet but I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder I think it looks okay right now you will see anyways I'm just gonna throw on some skincare real quick while I prep to film and go ahead and get my brows on but I'm going to be doing a look that I did to go see a band uh, last week. <laughs> and I wanted to film it that day, but I ran out of time. I'm going in with the uh, Belief Beauty Hydrating Cream Gel. This is a super nice moisturizer. It is truly a hybrid of like a gel and a oily kind of cream almost. Like there's a little bit of an oil feel to it. It's infused with squalane and rose hip. So you definitely kind of get that little bit of oil in there, but it's really, really nice sinks in like a gel moisturizer but it has that hydration of a cream it is the best of both worlds right here it's so good definitely one of my favorite face creams especially for summer it's pretty lightweight but it looks like a cream but it just shears like thins out to almost nothing and it feels so good so we're just gonna harp that into the skin like it's so so almost not really watery but a little bit oily but it sinks in so it doesn't leave any residue on your face or nothing no greasy texture but you just feel super hydrated and just sinks in so much better than a lot of the gel moisturizers that i've used i'm not a gel moisturizer kind of girl i like my heavier <laughs> moisturizer or this really is kind of the perfect in between for me oh my i've got like orange on my fingers <laughs> i'm gonna be one of those people with the uh orange hands but that's just so nice feeling it just feels like a drink of water for your skin so my brows have been tinted so I'm not really needing to do anything there except give them a light fill because I let them grow out like fully grow out so I don't have to mess with them as much but I do have a new brow product this is the L'Oreal Unbelievable Brow Longwear Top Coat Let's see what that looks like this smells so bad <laughs> like it stinks but it works 
pretty well. It doesn't like lock your brows in a position or have like strong hold like the Benefit brow setter. So I was kind of hoping it would be, but it does make your brows stay on. Like it, it, it's like putting glue over them or something. I mean, this smells kind of toxic. It smells like hairspray. That's what it smells like. It's very thin and I don't, it, it kind of made them bleed a little bit like the, the product. So this is gonna have a little bit of learning, learning curve and I'm kind of working with it right now. So I'm gonna see if uh, it works out. I'm pretty sure this is just straight up hairspray in a tube because that's what it smells like. And it also says it's flammable on the side, much like hairspray does. So I'm uh, pretty sure straight up just hairspray that they packaged in a tube, but it does hold them in place. So can't complain too much or it does seal them in. That's what it does. It, it like seals them, but it doesn't make them stand up like I want. I want that look of soap brows without having to use soap because I hate doing the soap brows. Otherwise this is still the way to go for me. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, run that through them. And then I'm going to go in with my pen brow tint pen from NYX and fill in any gaps instead of just going out with a pencil too and see how that looks. I may go back and touch it up. I'm not sure. But my brows are very full at the moment. I haven't trimmed them. I haven't groomed them other than tinting them because I kind of like the way it looks. I'm just going to give them a quick little brush through right now and I'll go back through later and like really set them down because I don't like that the foundation kind of gets in this and it's kind of yucky. Just wanted to see what they look like brushed up. Just a light little coat to see what filling I need in there. You get a little bit on the tails, huh? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna let that kind of dry a little bit and I'll take my, you know, I'm gonna take my CoverGirl micro pencil and just fill in the tails and then we'll go with the brow tint pen at the end of the makeup and get all that going. But yeah, that's all I'm doing for skincare right now. It's nighttime. I'm not going to be seeing sunlight today. Um, so I'm not worried about that. But the foundation I am using today, it does have an SPF 50 in it. Because I'm going to use this one because it's my deepest one I own. Hopefully it matches me. I guess I'll go ahead and get started on that video. But I did want to tell you about this really annoying, <laughs> very busy week we've been having. Um, I don't think there's really any other skincare I need to do right now or prep. Well, I guess I can go ahead and like prime my eyes, huh? <laughs> That's usually what I do before videos, get my eyes primed. So I'll jump in and do that and fill in the brows. I, oh my God, I'm all over the place. But anyway, so I think I mentioned in my last vlog, I've been a little bit out of it mental health wise. So I did go to the doctor and I'm on a little treatment plan for that. And yeah, so I'm, I'm doing really well. Feeling a hell of a lot better. I just had gone off my medicine thinking I can do without taking something. I can't. Anyway, got that sorted. And um, as far as the stomach goes, she put me on a probiotic and prebiotic. And that has made a world of difference within few days I feel normal like zero cramps zero discomfort just feel like a normal person with a normal tummy it, it's kind of a miracle I also have like more energy I feel really good mentally I feel good I'm not panicking constantly like I feel like myself again which is fantastic and because I kind of was really not myself it's like I mean I was just I felt like I was going crazy. And it was a horrible feeling. Like it was just, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Constant state of panic. I think getting back on my medicine and I take Celexa in a few minutes, wondering, uh, just 25 milligrams, not a high dose or anything like that. Um, it just really helps with my anxiety. And what was happening was the anxiety was turning into depression. So just kind of a cycle with it and since I had been off of it it had been kind of non-stop I would get like a day or two where I was okay and then it would all just come back and be horrible but uh yeah between get back on that and the, aid and the uh, probiotic that helped a lot and my god I can't believe how much better my I feel physically all over because so I think I'm, I'm one of those people that tries to hide how they feel a lot and puts on the are totally fine and not 
falling apart mentally and it was getting to the point that I, I couldn't hide it anymore and so that's why I was like okay we gotta do something about this and I've been that way since I was a little kid it's just kind of how my brain's wired and it's just you know sometimes circumstances or whatever will make it worse or trigger it but it's it's just one of those things so yeah but I remember having that same kind of panic as a child and not really understanding what it was okay just putting a little bit of my Sigma eye primer on everything is uh, I'm feeling like honestly just fantastic I've changed my diet as well that's helped a lot a lot more clean eating cooking at home so I'm gonna be showing you some of my cooking stuff coming up that I haven't been cooking lately so I think that's made a huge difference also I'm most days I drink a soda I think today's like the first soda I've had in I don't know how long because we went to Sonic and most time with a meal though I get water drink water at home and matcha a smoothie for breakfast and like fruits and natural things and being good veggies and soluble fibers have been a big help and it's just crazy like it was like within two days so much better just so much better when I first started the ProVac it was a little rough um because it's one of the side effects of the one I was taking is that you have some discomfort when you begin it and then you if you do the full dose so I started out with cutting the little gummies in half and then doing that for a few days going up to one gummy and then working my way up to the, the, the full dose of two and it's great <laughs> I mean my skin's cleared up a little bit like I feel like my skin looks better um what else I just all around just feel a lot better my nails are growing fast though that's the only problem I've noticed my nails are growing so fast but the nail that's growing is really healthy it's not quite as thin as the other nails so now when I'm getting my manicure it doesn't hurt as bad <laughs> So that's nice. I'm a very sensitive ring finger and pinky finger. I don't know why, but I had like didn't like feel it. It's, it's like how it should should be because the nail was like way healthier. The new growth within the last week, so that was cool. But like it looked like I needed to fill after one week. <laughs> but anyway, touch my brows just a little bit. Is this my cover girl now? I'm back with the the cover girl, and right now I'm just kind of on a kick with it. I really like the shade and tone of this one. This is the soft brown. I think it's such a pretty color for my brows. It is very much um, the color of my natural brow. This color up front is basically what you know my eyebrows always look like, right? But the rest of them grow in white, <laughs> like with no color, with a slight golden, sometimes red hue. So I need to help them out with some brow tint, with some just for men. But I was buying the black just for men, like jet black, and it was just a little too um, stark, I think. So I went to the, I think, dark brown, and I really like the dark brown. I think it's kind of perfect, like the perfect shade for me. So, other than getting my brain sorted and my tummy sorted, oh, by the way, she did diagnose me with IBSC, overshare, TMI, whatever. That's what apparently I have and that can also play into anxiety and depression and cause that as well and having bad gut health so chicken or the egg I don't know but all I know is I'm good now and I feel amazing so I'm just I'm great <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy with it yeah, it was for so many years that like my, my stomach is good <laughs> real good okay I still have the brow pimple by the way it's just a red mark now but it just won't go Will not fully heal i don't know what's up with it if it's got something in there i can't get out and i've left it alone and the damn thing came back <laughs> what come on come on all right see i'm doing like a super light fill here just getting in them bald patches which i do have i have very like kind of sparse but large brows large and in charge but sparse <laughs> it's a weird weird way to have eyebrows but I always see Hunger Van Gogh going like backwards. I should try that. I'm not sure why I put the benefit in. Probably shouldn't have done that until after. All right, one down. <laughs> one to go. Oh man, I've <laughs> got some Jennifer Conley brows. And I'm not like making them bigger size wise, I'm just filling in the gaps. They're just big, but I like them. So I'm gonna keep them big. I love a big, like, Cara Delevingne brow. Brooke Shields, my god. The queen of brows. Do this on the tail's a little wonky. So I kind of have to like match it to the other 
which is not happening apparently. One brow hat is straighter than the other and like fuller, so I have to kind of compensate. There we go. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I think I could soften the arch over here a little. That stupid little pimple is making this brow look like it has a point. Alright, maybe I'll try to fix that with some concealer and see where things are. But that will do for now. Just got a general shape going at least. My face does look orange, doesn't it? My face is also darker than my body anyway, and it's also kind of red. So I think with the foundation, I'll kind of even things out a little bit. And think about that till after, till after I put the tanner on my face. I was like, probably shouldn't have done that because this one you can't use on your face. Um, all right, I'm just gonna clean up the brow shape just a bit with some concealer. Just, I like to do that because I feel like it looks neater. This is the deepest concealer I have. It's my eye cream and a concealer from. L'Oreal, so hopefully that works. It's not the most coverage, but it gets the job done. I'm not going for heavy coverage today either. I'm actually using one of the Paw Paw uh, brushes right now, too. I love these little flat brushes. Yeah, it just tidies up the shape just a tad. I can't remember how I did those Supernatural brows the other day that I loved. Cannot remember what I did. No memory of it. Barely remember that day. <laughs> yeah, my dad loved his air fryer, by the way. Just update on that. And he is house hunting right now, and oh my god, he sent me the most beautiful house that he viewed yesterday. So pretty. It's huge. It's a freaking big mansion. Well, not really, but it's a legit decent size, and I think more house than what he was looking for initially. But the price is good, and the area is really nice, and he's just not finding anything in the price range that he was looking at that wasn't super beat up and needed a ton of work beyond just cosmetic and he just wants to do like cosmetic he didn't want to replace a roof and ceilings and all that i think this one you're just gonna have to put like a fence up change out some carpet paint job that kind of thing that he has money set aside for but he just didn't want like a huge lifelong project kind of thing he just wanted something move-in ready but it's so cute, and I, I do hope that they get this one because I really like it. I'm like, I'm moving in with you. Oh, I've got a mosquito bite on my elbow. It's just driving me nuts. Also, oops. And, but the uh, biggest thing that happened these last week, well, week or less, I don't I remember, within this time frame between vlogs was our air conditioner broke. Like, broke, big broke. Not just replace a part broke, but multiple parts. And it was gonna cost $5,000 to repair on a system that's nearly 10 years old that is a piece of crap, apparently. Just it's like the cheapest of the cheapest HVAC systems you could have, right? And it, they were like, odds are we'll be back out here in a year repairing something else for another 5,000, or you can get the new system for, uh, I think it was just over 10,000 altogether. And they had um, no interest financing for, ten, for five years. So, yeah, <laughs> we, we got a new HVAC system put in. However, is it's massive. It is cooling the house for the most part. But something's wrong with the ductwork now. And this room has zero airflow in it. It feels humid and hot in here. It feels a little swampy. The office, same thing bedroom not great the living room freezing cold freezing cold and apparently air is only coming out of one vent in the entire house one vent so they came out and looked and they tried to rebalance the ductwork and all that helped a smidge in the office and otherwise mm, yeah not great so they are sending an inspector out this coming Tuesday, which is in two days, and he's going to get up there and just go through everything with a fine tooth comb, try to find what the issue is and fix it. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure all this should be under warranty since it wasn't a problem until now. There's also the selling point was a 10 year warranty on this thing that we never have to worry about it for 10 years, and I probably won't be living here in 10 years and be someone else's problem. So, yeah, there's that. It's a the unit itself was like twice the size of the one we had. It's massive. I didn't realize how small ours was and 
underpowered for the our house but it kept the house cool and all the vents worked but with that one anyway so that is still ongoing little issue but for the most part sorted out and they did send us a huge box of delicious artisan cookies that were absolutely amazing as a thank you for buying an ac unit i was happy with the cookies <laughs> And the service from this company has been fantastic. Everyone has been so, so nice and so helpful. And they come out like immediately. Um, we only spent one night without AC because it happened kind of late in the day. But um, yeah, they were out bright and early the next morning. Got it running enough to where we could have AC. I mean, well, no, somebody came out that afternoon. He just couldn't fix it. <laughs> and they sent out another guy and he patched it enough to where it would run for the rest of the time until the new one got installed. And he's like, I don't know if it's going to run the whole time. He's like, just call me and I'll come back out and make it work. He's like, just don't touch the thermostat. Don't mess with anything. <laughs> don't, don't even breathe near it because it might mess up. So at least we had AC during the wait period there. And that was pretty cool he I think he had to bypass a lot of stuff and just kind of make it straight run but it ran that was uh fun and uh yeah that's about all that's really been going on so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on my actual video for today and get some makeup on and do a look I'll see y'all in a little bit hi guys <laughs> okay this was the final result of the video I was filming for my summer glam look and I really, really love the way the skin came out and I actually did manage to get my foundation to match my body so I was proud of that. I used the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation and uh, what else did I use? True Match Eye Cream and Concealer for my concealer and just translucent powder and a shit ton of bronzer and we got her matching pretty good and I don't think I look orange on camera so I'm happy about that too. I've just been filming that and then I filmed a episode 3 of Only Things I Love and now I'm super sleepy because I stopped in between there and cooked steak and zucchinis because we were hungry and then I also had to in export footage and charge and all of that good stuff so that took a little while about an hour and a half well, that it is almost 7 a.m. at this point. I'm uh, playing that game of staying awake as long as I can. I thought about making some matcha, but then I realized no, I'm still gonna be sleepy if I'm already sleepy like this. And if I make the matcha, I'm just gonna like not sleep good and be miserable and like have those half in and out sleep things. But yeah, the steak. The steak I cooked was so good. I didn't get any footage of it because charging and importing but I cooked it. They were just sir top sirloin steaks, like nothing special, or um, super lean ones. And I put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes for two at a time. And they came out absolutely perfect. The temperature was perfect on the inside because I got me a meat thermometer and I check everything now. I'm just, I got hold of a meat thermometer and I read the temperatures food stuff it's supposed to be. So now I'm like real into checking that, which I guess is a good thing to do. Even though I've never given myself food poisoning, I have had it through eating Popeyes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I just want to make sure the stuff I'm cooking in the air fryer is done because it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. You get to take it out, cut it open, and it's easier for me to gauge cooking times that way with the air fryer. And that thing has been the best thing all this time. Gone without one. Didn't think I needed it. Thought it was gimmick. Thought it was silly. My sister gave me her old one. And I have been cooking almost everything in that bitch. Uh, burgers are fantastic in it. But the steaks. This is the first time I've done the steaks in it. And it didn't take that long. Because they were fairly thin. They weren't thick. Huge steaks. They are about that thick. And they cooked so perfectly. And uh, I have some New York strips actually thawing now. Which... I'm not going to eat steak two days in a row. It's in the fridge, so they'll probably be cooked not today, but the next day. I don't know what I'm going to cook tomorrow. I didn't take anything out for tomorrow. We do have some leftover carne asada meat, though. We'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm too sleepy to think about it right now. 
Like it's suddenly just power down time. Yeah, but I've gotten a really good like routine before I go to bed now, even though I'm going to bed at stupid times, like 7 a.m. I got my schedule got messed up. But I was on a great day schedule for actually a pretty legit amount of time. So now I'm just gonna work my way back around like I always usually do by stay up a little bit longer and then sleep a little bit later. But I've gotten where I don't sleep as long and it's really like nice sleep. For a while I was having a lot of trouble just falling asleep for one thing, just my brain would not stop spinning. I would, could read and focus, couldn't even focus to read or anything at that point, just lay there and ruminate on scenarios that haven't even happened kind of thing. But um, anyways, I actually got back on the Slexa and then taking the probiotic. I'm also taking D vitamins and just trying to do like healthy things so make sure to take all that before bed because it's the best time for me personally to take everything and I go right to sleep like I don't even have to take melatonin and then I wake up feeling rested and good like I just pop out of bed I'm like ready to start my day I don't want to just lay there and doze who am I <laughs> who am I I haven't been this person in almost a year at least <laughs> and even then uh, I'm gonna ride this high is what I'm gonna do because I'm happy with the way I've been feeling and hopefully it doesn't go away but uh, the Celexa makes me really sleepy if I take it during the day I've noticed uh, I, the first day I took it I took it during the day because I used to could take it in the morning because when I was on it before it made me where I couldn't sleep and it made me hyper this time it's decided it wants to make me drowsy and that first day I took it girl I felt like I was a drunk I felt like I was just out of it I was so exhausted like just drowsy I'm just like I remember just sitting there because we were at my friends you know working with the moving her stuff and we just went over for dinner afterwards we, she was settled at this point and I'm just like fuck I can't hardly keep my eyes open I felt like just so so sleepy and tired and like kind of not loopy but verging on loopy but anyway I just moved it to nighttime and I haven't had any problems since I wake up feeling great and I haven't had any stomach trouble which oddly enough Celexa gives me increases the IBSC that first like month I'm on it and adding that probiotic in prevented that so that's also great <laughs> I'm happy with that and I think a lot of that is because I've been eating a lot more fruits and vegetables and like insoluble fiber stuff and just being a little more kind to my body with that I'm rambling at this point, so I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to write down what products I use for today's videos, and then I will see you guys later. Bye.